Wow, check out all these really cool tide pools filled with different kinds of tide pool creatures. Oh, I've never seen that one before. Wow, take a look at that. Wait! Whew, you almost unwittingly stepped on a gumboot chitin. Oh. It's all right, little buddy. You're safe now. I know you're adapted to blend into your surroundings. What's up everyone? Ranger Miranda here. The next animals we're learning about are chitons, a mollusk that, as you just saw, are often mistaken for rocks and algae out in the intertidal zone. Chitons can be found in many places in the intertidal zone. From the algae-covered rocks in the high zone to deep tide pools in the low zone, these animals, like many others living in this environment, have a muscular foot that they use to stick onto the rocks, helping them stay firmly in place as the waves crash over them. Each one has eight plates that make up the protective shell on its back. These plates overlap, allowing the chitin flexibility as it moves over uneven terrain, and even allows it to curl up into a ball for protection if it gets dislodged from the rocks almost like an underwater armadillo. Surrounding these eight plates and helping hold them together is a tissue called a girdle. Some chitons, such as the mossy chiton, have girdles covered in tiny bristles that resemble moss. This, along with algae that grows on their shells, helps them to camouflage into their environment. This certainly helps mossy chitons blend into their surroundings. Unfortunately, I'm not sure it has the same effect for me. Now, not all chitons like to show off their plates. In the case of the gumboot chiton, they prefer to cover up with a leathery overcoat that envelops their entire back. Wow, Ranger Andrew, looks like you're getting into the mindset of a gumboot chiton. Yes, I am feeling a bit like a modest mollusk myself. LG! Gumboot chitons are the largest type of chiton in the world and are sometimes referred to as the wandering meatloaf. Though they aren't often seen doing much wandering. Gumboot chitons move so slowly that you can often find algae growing on their backs or even other animals walking on top of them. If you decide to try to see one move, you might have to wait a while. Has it moved yet? Nope. Has it moved yet? Nope. Has it moved yet? Huh? Okay, so maybe we stick out more than your average chitin, but I think we have the right idea. The next time you're exploring the tide pools, keep an eye out for these camouflaged critters. And be sure to watch your step. What are you guys doing? She's on to us. Quick, engage evasive maneuvers. 